Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat and I in this tutorial I want to show you I can easily edit your raw file so that you can have nice and rich popping colors the way you are looking at the photo when you are shooting it at the shoot. So I want to show you I can easily get such beautiful and popping colors and we are using a raw file so this is for those that shoot in raw and you want the images to pop and if at all I've been struggling with colors this is a tutorial for you, you can see the before and after before after so basically what i'll do i'll first of all come and i reset this to the default and by the way if at all you haven't liked this video simply hit the like button because it helps you to push and recommend this video to many people out there and don't forget to subscribe so this is the image and now we are in camera row and if at all you have lightroom you can use the same steps you're going to be using in this very video so without further ado let's get started so right now as you know or if i told you i've watched behind the scenes of my photo shoots i tend to shoot in a picture style known as landscape so basically landscape has those nice and popping colors but if i told you notice as soon as you import your image into the camera raw interface you can notice that it is going to automatically be set to adobe color because this is the color profile supported by photoshop and all products made by adobe so you have to take this into consideration then if i told you shoot in jpeg you won't be having this option in camera because all the information is already baked into the image so the very first thing i tend to do before doing any adjustments is <clears throat> first of all making sure that the colors are popping by simply coming and switching the image back to the picture style are shooting in my camera so i'll just come and choose landscape and you can notice that brings back majority of the colors and makes the image pop a little bit better and the colors look more appealing and appetizing but the downside is sometimes it looks a little bit oversaturated and you're going to be fixing that later on so after changing the picture style i'll simply come to my basic adjustments so in this case i'll simply come and take the highlights down and do the same for my whites to recover information within uh, the sky area and most of the hot spots on the model's face then i'll simply come and turn up the contrast because i prefer to add so much contrast in the images so i prefer around 10 10 or 12 is fine and i'll simply take down the blacks to intensify on the contrast and the outfit in general so i won't hand or i won't play with the shadows because i feel like the lighting was okay and we have no shadows to eliminate in this very image so after doing that like i said the image sometimes looks a little bit oversaturated so i'll simply come the saturation right here and i take down the saturation out of the image slightly out around negative two right there and this is where we are right now before after so after doing that we're going to go to the most important step in color grading or making the image pop out of the background and that is the color mixer tool or it is called the hue and saturation panel adjustment layer or the hue and saturation adjustment layer so you can find that down here under the color mixer so right now we have hue saturation and luminance the very first thing i tend to handle when it comes to this is first of all correcting the skin tones and making the contrast in the skin tone a little bit richer so what i'll do i'll simply come to the luminance remember the hue is a shade of a given color saturation is the intensity of a given color and luminance is how bright or how dark it is basically the brightness level of a given color so i want first of all add contrast to the skin tone and in order to add contrast i'll simply darken the oranges or the majority of the color within the skin tone which is the oranges so i'll simply come the oranges and i simply darken just like that and you can notice that the skin is looking a little bit better and contrasty so i've taken this to negative 14. so taking this layer towards the right hand side makes that color brighter and towards the left hand side you make a given color darker so negative 13 is fine and after doing that i'll simply come to my hues and let me first of all explain to you what hue is all about for example if at all 
I look at the green color. So when you're moving a given color towards the right hand side or a slider of a given color towards the, re the right hand side, you're going to make that color look like the color below it, which is the aquas for this case. And if at all I move this towards the left hand side, you can see that the greens are going to be looking like a color on top of it, which is the yellows. So basically that is how the hue is going to be working. So for whichever color you choose, moving that slider towards the left hand side, you make that color look like the color of all that is on top of it. And moving it towards the right hand side, you make it look like a color below it. So for my case, let me first of all make the image pop by handling the greens. So I'll make the greens more on the aqua side by taking the green slider towards the right hand side. And that looks okay. And I'll do the same for my yellows. Just like that. But this makes the greens overly saturated. So what I'll do, I'll first of all calm the saturation of the greens and simply take down the saturation slightly to around negative 21 so that the model can stand out of the background and the greens are not overly saturated. And after doing that, I'll come back to my hues and play around with the skin tones or the color of the skin. So if at all you look at the skin, the reds are a little bit too much. So in order to eliminate the reds, I'll make the reds look like a color below it, which is the oranges. So I'll take the red slider towards the right hand side at around 6. And I'll do the same for my oranges by making them more on the yellow side, just slightly to around one one looks great so this is the before and after before after you can see how the image is popping right now and the colors look better so the last thing that i tend to do when it comes to this i'll simply come back to the luminous and i get back the blows into the sky by taking down the luminous or the luminosity of the blue color just like that negative 33 is okay so i'll come down to my calibration panel right here and I'll simply play around with the hue of the blue primary right here so I'll just make the image pop a little bit more so you can see what this basically does so just taking this towards the left hand side I'll be making the oranges slightly more on the red side to balance and get away or remove those yellowish tones from the skin of the model so around negative four looks great so that is all i do and this is the before after before after before after so this is what i do when it comes to editing in lightroom or camera raw and after doing that you can simply come to open the image into photoshop to do the final skin retouching and final adjustments to your images so this is it for this video and if i told you i've learned a thing or two from this video don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if i told you have been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel, Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.